Here we are in episode 29 of the Simple Success Podcast. This is Financial Life Coaching from a Happiness Perspective. Coaching, happiness. When you change you, you change everything. Last week, we talked about the science of being great. And this week, the pod is about I've been robbed. Some floral visitors collect nectar by piercing flower external whorls, acting as nectar robbers. They leave robbery vestiges, which can cause changes in floral characteristics, including physical and chemical signals that may influence flower recognition by pollinators. If, wait, is this about plants? Plant fitness? Plant animal interactions? Whoa, is that a rabbit hole? Absolute floral larceny. I'm <laughs> glad that's out of the way early. No amounts of nectar could make up for that. Okay, where was I? Yeah, done with the flower jokes. No more nectar exploitation here. A 76-year-old robbing victim is warning shoppers to be careful after she and a 90-year-old woman both had their purses stolen at West Town Mall. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, ordinary citizens, that happened. But that's not what I mean to be talking about. What is the crime of theft? What can I do if I have been robbed? What kinds of theft are there? What if there is a limited nectar availability? Oh, sorry. What are the penalties for the crime of theft? What, how can we achieve adequate security for our actions? Should I be concerned if Robin Hood and Little John disguise themselves as women in order to steal Prince John's gold coins? Is that the sort of thing a leader would do in pursuit of national unity? Or is this just animal behavior? I guess you should if you believe that sort of thing. We're not talking about tubular flowers after all. I'm not saying that real crime is not real. It is. Civic leaders tell us that it is. Listen as I transition to the point, which is when people say they've been robbed in reference to some opportunity they had, which turned out great, except that they didn't take it. Others took it. People who didn't take it say they were robbed. They weren't. No exclusive nectar robber visits requiring a police officer or a police report. Let's look at that in the investment business for a minute. The way some people talk, you'd almost think there was a repressive leader at the top demanding a crackdown by security and military uniforms after a narrow election. It's not uncommon to hear people bemoan missing an investment opportunity the way they might bemoan the ouster of long-time grandparents. Sometimes it's a very specific and recent situation, like when Tesla split five shares to one last year, then promptly went up some more. Sometimes it's a lot less specific and more whimsical, like when someone wishes they'd bought Microsoft back in 1985 when it was a primary attractant. I was robbed a tiny bit when fuel prices, which had been so low in the late 1980s, went up to what was really just normal. Occasionally, people will say they were robbed or that the system was rigged. They have expectations for truce. People have spent days in protest over lesser behavior. Only very rarely will people acknowledge upfront that maybe they should have acted on their thoughts when they first had them. They might get there eventually or if pressed, but upfront is pretty rare. I'll give bonus miles, even 3x miles for that. Sometimes people will dumb down the situation, not realizing that this will cause them to miss out on dramatic increase. I heard a person earlier today say that she was also confused and took months to figure out. A pretty common situation, which really happened in early 2021. This, of course, was not true, but it made her and her product more approachable. A kind of insurance. Are you ready and willing to stand up? To not hide? To be in the international community of success? To not give visual signals pretending you have a broken spine? Oh, don't worry. I'm not trying to rally you to invade a neighboring country. Just take responsibility for yourself. Give us an honest signal. That includes how you invest. It's not limited to that, but it includes how you invest. Hello, everyone. This is John with the Simple Success Podcast. Financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Because we know you want to show us some serious love in return for the tremendous benefits you get from us, please head over to HTTPS whack whack anchor.fm whack simple success that's one word simple success whack support there you can choose from a nine dollar and 99 cent per month doer level of support a four dollar and 99 cent listener level or a basic intro level of just 99 cents per month that's not much when you compare it to a stockbroker right and this is so much more sensible to leave us a voice message which just might see the light of day in a future podcast go to https whack whack anchor.fm whack simple success Again, one word, simple success, whack message. I won't repeat those links because weird. And anyway, show notes. I've been robbed. Once upon a time, our heroine Sophie Stevens was robbed. Not in a literal sense, fortunately for us, and especially fortunately for Sophie. It seemed to her that everybody was in on the latest thing. And what was the latest thing? It was iron bars. No, 
Really, it was buying stock shares in the thing that had been the latest thing until the latest thing became buying shares in the latest thing. Got it? Great. Since that's how life works, I mean. Let's hear some loud cheers for that. Unless you'd rather cheer for the internet or for internet shutdowns. Sophie was confused on the first mile. A really common thing was going on. A thing which happened all the time. It wasn't experimental design, but Sophie did not do the thing. Not displaying the proper floral traits, she was robbed. Or anyway, that's how the saying goes, I think. At least that's how it goes on some of the better paying teams where not everything is a human rights watch. Calmly, carefully, Sophie rubbed away the blinders, keeping her from seeing the humor. Sophie had not been robbed. There were no rogue elements here. Unless, well, you were thinking that she'd robbed herself, had cut her own fuel lines, which she had. And now that she could see this, she was better able to take responsibility. We can all do that when we know that someone else knows. We can also do that when we get started, when we build our confidence a little bit at a time. Then, none of us ever get robbed. There is no fear of retaliation, at least not for what we didn't do, what we didn't control. Cool, huh? We'll be back with our call to action, RCTA, right after the break. In this Simple Success Podcast, as well as in our webinars and masterclasses, we are very, very much going to want to hear your story. Well, to be real, I mean in future episodes of the podcast's webinars and masterclasses. This means you. Your participation is critical to our mutual simple success. It's important to know how you think, what you've thought, what you've tried, and what you've been unsure of trying. As we told you at the beginning, and as you also find in the show notes, we have ways you can contact us. It involves a special link where you can leave us a voice message, which just might see the light of day in a future podcast. We may have an email address for you as well in the future, and we'll let you know when that happens. Together, we're going to make it great. We're going to do what even we didn't think possible. We know a lot about you already because we know ourselves. For example, we know that you know how to listen to our podcast. We also know that you probably know how to subscribe. The reason every podcast asks you this is because when you subscribe, you automatically download all future episodes of that podcast. This means better rankings, more attention from advertisers, and more money. And that means more and better stuff for you. So your motivation is simple and easy. Subscribe today, wherever you get your favorite podcasts. Oh, and don't just try to subscribe. There is no try. There is only do. Remember, this is financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Right after this, we'll explore some more important details you should know. But for now, use your imagination to help create your story. Next week, we're going to look at another concept, and that is the nudge concept. That got picked for me by my topics randomizer. It's a little bit about a book, but not completely. I'm not prepackaging this stuff, but instead making it relevant so we can all, me included, learn how to do this right. We're going to bring that into the world of investing, and it's going to be a great episode. But for now, remember, happy sausage roll day. I mean, all you need to do is practice, after which you'll get good. Gracias por escuchar. A la prochaine. Credits for today's episode. Techno King, John C. Brandy, Seagull Example, Shola Salako, Fact Checker, Abraham Lincoln, French Consultant, Virginia Mitchell, Media Expert, Favor Abasi Ike, Psychologist, Sigmund Freud, Rabbit Hole Advisor, Dr. Mark Parrott, Sound Designer, Guglielmo Marconi, Spanish Consultant, Cameron J.K. Brandy, Videographer, Alfred Hitchcock, Audio Props, Les Paul, and Inspiration, Napoleon Hill, Earl Nightingale, and Bob Proctor. Look at the written show notes to subscribe, to support, or to send us a voice message.